All right, everyone, so I am here with Derek Smart, the your lead designer, right? Lead designer for Line of Defense is a free-to-play sci-fi MMO first-person shooter. So we're just going to ask him a couple questions about the game. I guess we'll start um, with just tell us a little bit about the game. Well, it's a, it's a huge first-person shooter. It's got uh, all aspects of, um, you know, combat, you know, lots of guys running out with, with weapons of mass destruction. You got aircraft, vehicles, you can do combat in first-person mode on a planet. You can go into aircraft, you can go into space, you can do combat inside stations. Uh, it's, a, it's a massive world, and um, it's, it, it's a skill-based game, not one of those games where you have to roll the dice and do all those crazy things. So that's, it's, it's, it's a massive game. Yeah, I read there's, well, on one server, it could be like 256 players. Is that yeah, close. Uh, we, we wanted to keep it small so that the engagements are more uh, team-based. So even though the servers are you know, designed to handle you know, lots and lots of players, we thought by keeping it down to around 255 to 256 players uh, per session, it makes it more intimate. And it also allows players to, you know, to, to you know, create relationships, um, remember the guys they play with. You know, when you have a game that lots and lots and lots of players, it's always hard to get all the same guys you know, playing at, you know, all the time. So we wanted to do it so that if it's a smaller uh, world, even though the, you can still jump from server to server to server, right. at least you can make relationships where if your best friends aren't online, there are other people you met that you create relationships with. That's why we kept it that size. Perfect, yeah, and then, so the maps, they're gonna be pretty massive, right? Oh yeah, they're right. huge. How many maps do we have? Uh, well, we don't have a concept of maps, we build worlds. We have okay. entire planets. Uh, we have a, a ton of planets right now, and what we did with the first game is we populated the um, one planet with four bases, uh, really, really huge bases, and you can jump within each one of them, and then we have um, space regions that have stations in them. You can go inside those stations, you can do combat on the planet, in the stations, in space. And over the years, what we want to do is we want to populate all the different planets so that we can expand the game that way through uh, DLC and you know other expansions. Okay. Would there be anything like, would one planet maybe battle another planet, or is that... No, we, we thought about that. Because it's faction-based, uh, we, we decided to keep it uh, you know, tight, and not going to this whole REM versus RAM thing because that's a whole different ball game. Yeah. So it's just going to be a whole bunch of players, teams fighting for resources, fighting for weapons, vehicles, and all kinds of things across different planets. So you can have a whole bunch of guys that you know control one planet, right. and maybe when we open up another planet, they might not be so lucky. So we keep the whole world exactly. uh, dynamic. Yeah. And then I was reading, it's not like you don't choose a certain class, right? Is it kind of it's no, more? No. We, we, skill based. We, we, yeah, it's it's skill based. We wanted to make it so that anybody who picks up um, decides to play a certain you know type of character, you pick a base character, and because we have uh, two sides, uh, four classes per side, whichever side you pick, you can still build your character to be any of the eight classes dynamically. So it, the longer you play, there's a very good chance that you might be able to have one character that has all the abilities and all the equipment of all eight. You know, so that's why we did it that way, so that we don't lock anybody into. Anything where you start a game, then you you have to roll a dice, or you want to play a different style. You have to start a new character. No, you want to be a sniper. That's good. Start off that way. You want to switch midstream and be a uh, you know the guy with the weapons of mass destruction. You can do that anytime, as long as you build your character the right way. Perfect. And then I was going to ask. So it, it is a free to play game. Now is it going to be like pay elements? Is it pay to win or? Well, it kinda... uh, some people might think it's it's got some pay to win elements. Yes, but the, the way I look at it. Um, we, we, we give the client out for free, and we only charge for you know certain things through microtransaction because hey we want to make the money back that I put, that I put into it. But because it's skill based, uh, just because you have the best weapon or the best ammo for that weapon doesn't mean you're going to be good at it. Right, exactly. You know you could spend a lot of money you know getting a lot of good equipment, a lot of good weapons, you know armor piercing uh, rounds and things like that, and you still have some guy take your head off you know right. with a knife or, you know exactly. from 50 yards away. So. But people will, will claim that it's pay to win. It depends how you look at it. At the end of the day, as long as the game is fun, who cares? Right. Yeah, no, no I mean, that's, there's, there's pay to win games that I like. There's free, completely free games. And yeah. it just, again, like you said, it just depends on your, your skill. You, yeah. could, you could beat a guy that spent $200 on the game. And just still walking, suck at right, it. Right, yeah, still <laughs> suck. Um, and then, is this in like a beta now, or is there a release yeah. date? Or? Yeah, we're approaching beta now, and we were, we were looking to. Um, uh, release it out to the, to the public for a larger beta test uh, around the end of June, but we're, we tend to slip it for a few months, uh, maybe a month or two, and hopefully we'll, we will hit beta 
sometime around um, the end of August, uh, September, and looking to sh you know to release it before the end of the year. And can anyone sign up for the beta, or is it like specific yeah. release? Anybody can sign up. Just go to lodmmo.com, and um, we've got a lot of signups already, and we're going to be picking out people at random to you know to test the game right through the entire beta cycle. So as long as you sign up, you definitely get a chance to get a um, you know um, a beta code to get in. And then with the beta, can you take your character from beta to the final, like through no. the release, or it's going to start? No, okay, we're going yeah. to completely wipe it yeah. out. Man. No, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. No, after beta, we're going to wipe it all out so everyone starts from scratch. But the good thing about it is, you know, with the beta, we'll get to know how to tweak the game and, you know, how to um, make it, you know, more fun so that, you know, at least when somebody who's played the beta gets into the real game, they remember what they did. And right. those people get to teach the others, uh, you know, how to play the game and what to do and what not to do. All right. Well, thank you so much, Derek. Appreciate All right. it. All right. uh, thanks for talking to us about line of defense. Right. Sure. And sure uh, we look forward to seeing that. We'll All sign right. up for beta. Take care. Right. Thank you, sir. Okay.